speaking of hunting, anything kicking around that might not fight back? Because that would be my ideal thing to hunt. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more RimWorld royalty, where we are very much struggling to get a lot done because people get keep getting injured. It's very, very fussy. Luxembourg, I think, has now taken a little bit of a hit. Yeah, a little bit. You're, you're basically okay. You have a psychic hangover and you've been bitten by something, but you're basically okay. So hopefully with everyone back up on track, we can actually get something done around here because um, the place is a dump. There's just dirt and garbage on the floor. The, the freezer, I would not cook food in this freezer if you paid me to. It's all a bit not so good right now. So we'll blaze through till morning and see if the team can get something done. Well, good news, Z managed to take out the muffalo with a revolver without actively angering all the other muffalos. That's really good, because that's a lot of meat, and it's also not a herd of muffalos coming down to try and murder us in the face. Wow, we, um, those muffalos were really, really far away. Okay, we have some meat, and we're about to get a ton more. We've got a bunch of veggies that are coming in. Some potatoes, some rice, all of that is good. I would like people to get on planting the hay that's over here for Ray and Kunick, our sheep, because they're going to need something to eat eventually. They're fine right now. They can just graze on the bushes around here, but, you know, it's the middle of summer now. When winter comes, we're going to need to have, you know, real food for these folks. So I'm hoping we can get the hay grass to come in and stockpile some hay, and we can mix that up with some kibble as we have an ability to make that. But Z should be on her way back with the muffalo. Jacob, our naked guy, I, I did just want to check in with you real quick. How's the whole being a naked prisoner thing going for you? 3.5 resistance. Okay, we are, we are very, very close to Mike Tysoning you into loving us. Well, all the kids are up. Luxembourg is getting back to the research bench. What are we doing right now? Smithing. Yeah, super important. Super important. Lou's cooking some food. Z is talking to Victory the donkey. Uh, Z, if you could get Victory to start doing some hauling really quickly, that would be great because that would be one less thing that we have to do around here. Who have I got on plants? Who's in charge of growing things? Everybody. Everybody's in charge of growing things. Who's actually good at it? Uh, Lou's actually pretty good. And Z is no slouch. Luxembourg is pretty terrible. Although I say that, you're 2 out of 20. Z is only 4 out of 20. You're not 100% terrible at it, Luxembourg. But you have other things to do around here. Lou, I am going to lower your priority, or actually really raise your priority to high priority on growing things. I want to make sure that we are growing the things that we want to grow. Oh, but finishing the barn is a good idea. Oh, uh, Zeke, Zeke, actually, could you just finish that bit? You're already working on it. Super. And you're going to use that wood over there. And hopefully when you get this hay grass done, that'll take down those trees. Not hopefully, it absolutely will, which will be some extra wood that we needed anyway. Good. The barn's getting a roof on it, and they're going to take down those trees, which will be even more extra wood because we're really, really low on that. We're actually really, really low on everything. We don't have a lot of things around here. Oh, good. Z's having a chat with Naked Jacob about maybe joining the colony. That would be really, really great if you did that, Jacob. We will give you some clothing if you do that. I don't have any right now. I have no clothing to give you, but I will definitely think very hard about putting the production abilities in place to do that. So if you join us, I will definitely think about clothing you. I won't be able to. I want to make that clear. This is a um, this is a promise of things to come. Well, really, Naked Jacob, it's a promise of me thinking about a thing later on. I promise you I will think about that. Okay, Jacob, you remember when I said I was going to think about that? Here's the thing. A slave trader just showed up. A slave trader just showed up. And I can, um, I can sell you. I'm not saying I'm going to. Much like the conversation we just had about clothing, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to look at their pricing and see if this is a good deal. And maybe I can get someone else who we don't have to Mike Tyson into loving us in your place. I'm not saying any of this is going to happen, Naked Jacob. Oh, I am gonna get these though. That's a definite. 
Okay, Lou, go have a chat with Squirt the Slaver here. That's a really unfortunate name, sir, or ma'am, as the case may be, I, I don't know. Um, but go have a chat with these folks and, I don't know, just kind of get a feel for what their prices are. They have some some humans that are available for purchase and some bears. I don't really know which I'd prefer. I know, this is so weird. Lou has a very, very, very tiny problem with hearing and therefore the 18 negotiating skill is for nothing. Anyway, what do you got? What do you got? You got, oh, you, you'll have, you, you'll take 557 for Jacob. Rather, I'll take 557 for Jacob. Um, Jacob, that's not a small amount of money. That's not a small amount of money at all, seeing as I only have 500 silver at this point. All right, I want to go through, your prices are a little high. I don't think even if I sold everything I've got, I can afford to buy, you know, a person. We're definitely not selling Victory the Donkey. I'll sell Naked Jacob before I sell Victory the Donkey. Well, there's a strong contender here with White Talk Sauce, really good at shooting, really good at medical, pretty darn good at animals, no construction or mining skills. That's that's not as good. I mean, they could build skill, but zero's um, pretty much the worst you can get apart from not doing it at all, like artistic. You're also a misogynist and volatile. How about uh, Batam here? What do you do for a living? You are kind of a bit of an all-rounder, but you're not particularly skilled in any one thing. Pretty good crafting skill and you have a burning passion for it, and you're a teetotaler, which is nice. You're really expensive, though. You're 2,000 silver. There's no way I could put that together. I've got 500 on hand. I would ideally like to not sell Jacob. I mean, I've put this much time into him. Uh, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to pass. If you could come back later when we've got much more money, I would be happy to buy all your humans and maybe a couple of your polar bears. But for right now, I think we just got to pass on these guys. Sorry, do please feel free to hang out in the colony and enjoy our hospitality. Yeah, Z is back to working on Naked Jacob here, probably reminding Jacob that the slave company is still outside and we can sell you at any point. So now would be a really spiffy time to go ahead and say, yes, I'd love to join your colony so you don't sell me into slavery. Uh, Lou, you are refueling the generator. That's excellent because we have no power right at this moment. I really need to get some guys focused on cutting down trees and mining for that matter. I need wood and I need steel. I think we're we're looking good on the veggies. I think we're okay for food right at this exact moment. It wouldn't kill us to get some more meat, although they haven't even chopped up this muffalo yet. Oh, Z, you're back to working on the table. How did you do with Naked Jacob? Did you remind him that we can sell him at any time? One resistance remaining. All right. And then we're going to have to recruit you after that, which is no mean feat, but we'll see what we can do. Z, what are you off to do? You're harvesting things. Could you actually just focus on the hay grass? I'd really like to get that done. And Lou, you're praying. Well, why don't you pray that you can find an axe to cut a tree down? Luxembourg, you are researching. You're actually almost done with smithing. You, y'all, come on, Luxembourg. You had like two more pages to read before you were going to be done there. Now you're back to praying. I'm going to let you pray for a little bit, and then we're putting you on lumberjacking duty. All right, Luxembourg, that's enough religion in this colony. Off you go here. Cut some trees down. Where's uh, where's Z? What are you doing? You're harvesting the rice plant. Again, that's good. I appreciate that, but we've got plenty of food right now. It's not going to go anywhere as far as I know. I guess I'll let you do that because then you'll replant some. You got like three things of hay grass sown. Ray and Kunick are going to be very very hungry and we paid for those sheep we're gonna use them okay smithing is finished and i'm actually just gonna not set anything else up right now mostly because i just need the warm body i need luxembourg doing things rather than sitting at the desk i know we need all the research we need all the research ever oh also i should deal with this dead guy over here but we'll back burner that for right now but Luxembourg needs to be doing stuff rather than reading about doing stuff. Uh, I really want to get machining and gunsmithing and all that stuff. Anyway, we need all the research, but we need to establish that we can survive the next winter. Well, the slave traders left, but they left us a gift. What did you... You just gave us some money for no reason. I'm okay with that. I'm totally fine with that. I'm very sorry we couldn't afford your humans. 
Please come back at another time when we have lots more money. There's a whole bunch of silver here we haven't mined out yet. If you want to come back later with any of these folks or different folks, it's all good. Uh, that'd be great. Please do come back. Luxembourg, what are you up to? Uh, you are cooking things. That's probably valuable. We do need to eat around here. Oh, we're actually working on the hay grass. Good job, team. Well done. And that's a bunch of wood that we're going to be able to take down too. Good, because I've got a plan for some of that. We're working on the table and chair over here. Okay, that's fine. There's, I could start putting furniture in people's bedrooms. That would be a thing to do. But what I would like to do is what I end up doing in pretty much all of my rim worlds is build a Hall of the Dead. Hall of the Dead, Indiana Jones style over here. Uh, I say over here. Is it going to live over here? Maybe it should live down here. Let's put it down here. How about it lived right here-ish? So I don't bother much with graves or the crematoriums. I just find it much simpler to build a building and throw all the corpses in there. Indiana Jones style. It's just a big room of corpses and skeletons. It's just awful. But it seems to be the most efficient way I've found to just deal with dead people. Why am I going to build a crematorium that takes power? Why am I going to take time out of people's lives digging graves? Just make a house, throw all the dead people in it. Well, good news, Naked Jacob's resistance has been broken. Naked Jacob is just steps away from joining the colony. Still naked, but joining the colony nonetheless. I should start to think about getting some clothing together for Naked Jacob. I could put it up here. I'd rather they focused on the Hall of the Dead right now. It's the middle of summer. Jacob can wander around without clothing on. Ah, hay grass coming along very well. Good. Z, are you off to, uh, yeah, you're going to go work on the Hall of the Dead. Great. Good news. So while Z is working on that, I will set this up as a dump zone, specifically for people. We are going to dump people in here. So storage, clear all of that, please. The only thing that we are going to allow in here is human-like corpses. Actually, we'll throw the mechanoid corpses in there too, but mostly humanoid corpses, just so I've got somewhere to put a mechanoid corpse if we come across one or indeed need to kill one. Yeah, Z's all about the Hall of the Dead. Z sees what I'm doing here, and Z is all about this. And a bunch more trees that we'll end up cutting down too. Good. And Luxembourg is chopping up the muffalo into bite-sized pieces. Good news there. Speaking of hunting, anything kicking around that might not fight back? Because that would be my ideal thing to hunt. No. Actually, they're all pretty much going to fight back. Potentially. Uh, I just can't risk any sort of animal revenge thing right now. We have some meat. We have some meat right now. Not a small amount either. So I think I'm just going to leave that be and kind of hope that the wildlife might eventually include something that has a 0% chance of fighting back. Wow, Z just tore through this. She is making great progress on the Hall of the Dead. Hey, while you're down here, there's some heel root we could be grabbing too. You're throwing the roof on and therefore you're going to have to chop down all those trees to do it. What else is going on? Oh, Lou's trying to recruit Naked Jacob. Great. Um, good luck with that. I don't think there's a very high percentage of that happening. Yeah, it's only 19%. And 19's not completely terrible. If I were playing XCOM, that's a guaranteed hit. No, Lou failed. Lou failed. Oh, well. Keep at it, guys. Keep at it. He can't stay in there naked forever. He's got to come out and join the team. But with all the other construction that is going on, which is... I, I feel we're almost kind of getting caught up a little bit in the tasks that I set for everyone. I think I will outline the clothing bench. I should probably do the electric one. But if I do that, I should probably get more power. I'm just for right now, I'm just going to do the hand tailoring bench. Just because I don't want to drain the power. That's basically my rationale behind that. Let's get a chair set up for you guys. I think we should have plenty of materials to put that together. Yeah, they, they took down all of these trees. All of these trees are coming down. There's a raccoon in the Hall of the Dead. Eh, that's fine. But speaking of power, I never actually gave Lou a light. Uh, why don't you do that? I'm sure it's very, very dark in here. You've got the urns, which is super good. Oh, this guy's going off really quickly. Yeah, he's missing 1.4% of his body. So we should probably get the Hall of the Dead done like really, really quickly around here. Well, bright and early the next morning and the team are up and we've got a new quest here. Royal Ascent. 
What does that do for a living? I need a, t a colonist with the title of Counter Countess. Well, that's not going to happen now, isn't it? That's not going to happen any time in the near future. Okay. Yeah, we must keep visitors at the Royal House of Luxembourg, but we can't do that because Luxembourg is neither a count nor a countess, so that's going to have to go away, unfortunately. That sounded pretty fun, but we're nowhere near that level. I noticed that the animal zone does include the Hall of the Dead. So Ray and Kunik the sheep can happily get in here and, um, well, if they feel like eating a corpse, I'm not going to stop them. There's no specific reason that they can't be eating human flesh if they feel so inclined to do. So I'm not going to change the zone right now. We'll have other animals. They may want to eat people too. This could be an unintentional but very valuable extra source of food for the animals. All right, Luxembourg, why don't you take a break from cooking? I, I think we're fine. I think we're totally fine. Can you get this guy inside, please? No, you can't, because you'll never do hauling. You're going for a walksie. No, actually, you're going to haul this corpse over to the Hall of the Dead. We are going to christen the Hall of the Dead with, what was your name? Cadillac, right? Cadillac, you made a very poor choice in attacking us, because now you're going to be the very... Why are you walking all the way around here? This is a very odd route to take, see? Oh, because we've got an open grave. Okay. All right, well, I guess you can live there. I guess you can live there. I usually only do a couple of graves, and now there's somebody in it. Um, no, I don't like that idea, actually. Let's um, deconstruct these graves. I made the Hall of the Dead. I'm going to use the Hall of the Dead, and Z's already on it. Z's already got the right idea here. We're hauling this guy right down to the hall. Hauling to the hall? I see what I did there. And look at that. Z even grabbed some wood on her way out. This is so much more convenient, and it might be a nice snack for that raccoon there. Well, Lou's back working on Jacob. We'll see if it goes any better this time. I don't have my hopes up specifically, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. You can't stay naked forever in the prison, Jacob. At some point in time, you're going to have to admit that A, you would like to wear clothing, and B, you'd like to get out of this room, but we failed again. I could... You know what I should do is pretty up the room a little bit, because I bet that would boost his mood, which would make him more inclined to um, come out of the room and not be naked. Yeah, I don't really want to sacrifice the resources, but I'm going to start to outline some furniture in here. So what if we did a dresser? I don't really have the resources for this, but what if we did a dresser over there? And then how about a end table? Everybody likes an end table. And you can even have a potted plant down here. And once we're done with all of this, I'll actually send somebody in with the dedica dedicated task of cleaning this place up a little bit, Jacob. I'm very sorry. You're walking around in bare feet in this slop. But it's your slop, so you should be used to it. Actually, some of it is Victory the Donkey's slop, because Victory goes in and out of your room all the time. You're a naked prisoner. Victory the Donkey, free to roam. Good news, team. Victory the Donkey has figured out hauling which is the best news I've heard all day. Victory the Donkey just hauled in that 500 silver and will eventually do other things. I can't make Victory do things, but Victory will now start moving some stuff around. Actually, if you want to go grab all of this silver while you were here, and I think we're probably good to turn those back on to being mined at some point. We may as well get the money in. I hear a lot of construction going on. Yeah, there you go, Victory. Bring those components in. Oh, you're my favorite donkey I've ever known. I think you're the only donkey I've ever known. Oh yeah, Victory's just on a hauling bonanza at this point. There's cloth and leather in here, knives and components. Victory has a mission, and that mission is moving things from one place to a slightly different place. Luxembourg, what are you building? The dining chair. Wait, which one? Oh, that chair. Okay. Yeah, that's... um. That's broadly acceptable. Oh, Z's putting up the room, and Lou's actually working on Jacob. Z, when you're done with that, remind me if you do cleaning. You do cleaning. Uh, no, wait, come come here. Clean, cl clean the dirt, please. Let's pretty the place up for naked Jacob. So naked... Oh, never mind. Uh, you don't have to clean anymore. Jacob joined us, and Jacob is, is planting his own potted plant. Oh, that's kind of fun. Jacob joins the colony, stark naked, and immediately says, you know what this place needs? Some flowers. All right, hold on, Jake. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First off, what exactly is it that you do around here? You're pretty good at mining and plants. Great. Those are two things that we need kind of immediately. You're sort of an all-rounder in anything else except shooting. 
and you're incapable of firefighting because you're a pyromaniac. Yeah, we've talked about that in the past, haven't we, Jacob? Yeah, because you, you set fires to things. We're going to see how that goes. I can generally cope with that. You know, a few small fires between you and me, it's all good fun, I think. But you're good at mining and you're good at plants and you're naked. Well, let's get some fundamentals down then. This is no longer a prisoner bed. This can actually be Jacob's bed. Jacob, that's your bedroom. I know it's it's not any different from the bedroom you had 24 hours ago. In fact, it's, it's exactly the same bedroom. Really, it's your prison, Jacob. We, we've just called it a bedroom at this point. So um, great, good. Um, let's get some clothes outlined for Naked Jacob. So, oh, I don't know, you need literally everything. So make some pants and make a, uh, make, make a, sure, any shirt. I don't really care. Sure, a t-shirt, whatever. Make a parka and what kind of hat would you like? I think you deserve a cowboy hat, Naked Jacob. And let's get you outlined to do some things. First of all, if you're all banged up, go ahead and go to bed. Are you any good at doctor? You're not the worst doctor in the world. In fact, you're better than Z. I'm going to take Z off of doctoring completely. Naked Jacob can do that instead. Uh, basic fine warden, you're not terrible. You're, you're not awful. Uh, handling, you're actually not that good. Cooking, you're okay. We'll leave that at three. That's fine. Uh, hunting, you're terrible and you don't have a gun anyway. Now construction, everybody does construction around here at Naked Jacob. Growing, you're very good. So I'm going to bring you down to a two. Are you better than Lou, our prostitute? No, you're actually about the same. You're about the same, seven and nine. So you can both have that as a number two priority. Now mining, Naked Jacob, that's your jam. That is your thing. Plant cutting, yeah, you know you're all about some plant cutting in the world. Uh, actually, Z, are you any good at smithing? You're not terrible, and we will be getting there sooner rather than later. That's why tailoring, uh, you might have to make your own clothes, Naked Jacob, so why don't you do that? Anyone else good at tailoring? Yeah, let's get some more people on tailoring so at least it gets done around here. Yeah, we'll throw a three on cleaning, hauling. Everyone does hauling except Luxembourg because Luxembourg's a bit of a princess. Well, yeoman, anyway. Uh, cleaning, everybody does cleaning, Naked Jacob, and research. You're actually not completely terrible at research. How are you other guys, by the way? Oh, wait a minute. Why is Z not number one on research? You're way... B oh, actually, you're the same. I've got two really smart people. Okay, good. Um, I'm not having them research anything, but, you know, it's, it's good to know they're there. Right. Off you go, Naked Jacob. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Naked Jacob has joined the crew. Off you go. Do anything you feel. Probably you might want to get some clothing down first. Nope, you've decided to do naked gardening in the middle of the night. Hey, that actually sounds not completely unfun. Did we get that other corpse in there? Uh, did we? Have, well, did we get the other grave constructed? Z, are you doing that right now? Z, you are a bit of a mind reader, aren't you? Uh, Luxembourg failed to make a chair. That's okay, Jer chairs are complicated. I get it, Luxembourg. Z, you are reading my mind. When you get the corpse dug out, put it in the Hall of the Dead, please. Well, with Naked Jacob on board, that is probably a good place to call it on RimWorld Royalty for today. I'm feeling a little bit better about what we've got done here. We've got a bunch of stuff planted, got a bunch of trees cut down, which I really needed. I need the resources, and that's probably going to be the focus of the next time, too, is just basic resource gathering. Get some trees cut down, get some mining done, start to get some stone blocks made, and probably some clothes for Naked Jacob. I'm really thinking very hard about it, Naked Jacob. I promised you I would think about it, and I am thinking about it. Whether anyone will actually get over there and make you any clothing is a completely separate matter. That will largely depend on whether Victory the Donkey hauls any more cloth and leather in there, but I promise I'm thinking about it, Naked Jacob. So we'll pick up some more RimWorld royalty next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. We'll see you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish?
Is it just a show about foxes all the time? If so, is that some sort of subtle esoteric thing about being a weapons manufacturer? Or is it just stuck on the nature channel?